This is part two to a video where we look at prompt engineering and this one we get really practical. It's an extract from a training course that I've created. If you missed part one, then we'll put the link to that somewhere above or in the description below. So make sure you catch up with part one. Let's go across to part two now. There's a lot of things we can add to that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that prompt. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the pencil icon in the right next to my prompt, which means I can now edit it. So let me now, um, just bear with me a second uh, while I just highlight uh, this prompt. And I'm going to Control V and paste. Here's a different prompt. So now, it says, you are a financial accountant. So I've now given it a persona. Um, I've also said, enhance the product description. And um, uh, for service by highlighting, um, enhance the product description for service. But, and I've put those in square brackets because we can use placeholders. I'll tell you why in a second you might want to do that. So you're a financial accountant, persona. Enhance the product uh, description for service by highlighting the benefits of each feature. Okay, that's the task. But now what I've done is I've said highlight the unique selling point. So what I, what I want to do is now give it some context, some background. What is it that's unique about our firm and the way that we do our tax returns? Because I'd like to communicate that. It then says the writing tone must be formal and the writing style professional and per persuasive. Writing tone and writing style are very important, can really influence the outcome. Keep the length to 150 words and retain the same format as the original description. So I want it to be short. The last one was quite long. I want it to be short, not too long. Uh, and I want it to keep the same, uh, the same format. And I then have then got here, service 1040, individual income tax return, unique selling point, 30 day guaranteed turnaround. That's the thing I wanna highlight. So that's some context there. And then here's my description from before. So why have I done it with uh, placeholders up here? Well, that's because when you find a great prompt that you like, that you might want to reuse again, then we can create, I'm a big fan of templates, processes, systems, automating stuff. So let's imagine that you've got a serve, you've got a whole bunch of services where you list features that you do, and you'd like to use ChatGPT to go and help you uh, reword them for a whole bunch of different things. Well, what I can then do is I can make this a template prompt, and you might build a library in your systems of template prompts, where all you need to then do is someone just needs to type into here, what is the service? What's the feature I want to, what's the, the unique selling point, And what's my current description that I've got? So you would then just cut and paste those into the, the, the prompt that you've got. Anyway, let me now hit save and submit and let's see what it comes up with. So it's now doing a version two. And, uh, and what, when, we do, when we do it by editing our prompts, you will now see in the top left, two out of two. Because when we edit a prompt, we can actually go back to the previous one. Here was the first one, and here was the first answer, and here was the second one with the answer, which is a great way of being able to compare and tweak a prompt. So here we've got, um, in, our commitment, uh, in our commitment to simplifying your annual tax filing process, our 1040 individual income tax return service stands as your reliable partner. We understand the importance of timely and accurate tax submissions, and that's why we offer an exclusive 30-day guaranteed turnaround, setting us apart from the competition. Uh, expert tax preparation, our seasoned financial accountants meticulously prepare your individual tax return, ensuring compliance with all relevant regulations and maximizing your potential deductions. This expertise safeguards your financial interests. It then talks about seamless electronic filing, and then it repeats and reminds them of the 30-day guarantee. Now, I like that. I think that's pretty good. Is that better than the first one? Well, that's personal preference, but there's a lot of things I like about the second one because it's focusing on my unique selling point. 
Now, the, the third thing I want to do before we move on to um, uh, another aspect of prompt engineering is let me just make a change to that. Because I said to you, one thing that's really important is writing tone and writing style. And so making a very small change to this prompt can have a significant difference. I said I want that to be a formal tone of writing, and I want it to be in a style of, that's professional and persuasive, which I think is done there. It's fairly formal. It's fairly formal. It's pretty professional. Um, there's nothing there that's, uh, there's, there's no words that like, this is a game changer service, that type of thing. It's very professional, formal, uh, and also, but at the same time, persuasive because it's highlighting the benefits in a nice persuasive way and highlighting that unique selling point. But let me just change that now. And this time I'm going to do it by a, a new prompt. And what I'm going to say now is I'm going to say, rewrite that because you can always say, do it again. Rewrite it, but using a humorous writing tone and a journalistic style of writing. And what I want to illustrate is how just making a small change to your prompt, in this case, a small change to the tone and the style, the rest of the prompts will be the same, has a significant uh, impact. So here we go. Uh, so it says the unique selling point is tax returns faster than a speeding bullet. It says, extra, extra, because it's a journalistic style, extra, extra, read all about it. Taxes made fun, fast and fabulous with our 1040 individual income tax return service. We're not just your average tax wizards, we're tax filing superheroes. And guess what our secret, we secret weapon is? The one and only 30-day guaranteed turnaround. That's right, folks. We have your tax turn back to you faster than you can say refund. And so on. Now, I'm not saying that you would like that style of uh, style in your accounting firm. You probably wouldn't. But hopefully you can now see that just in our prompt, just by changing the tone of writing and the style of writing, we have a very, very different result. And so what you want to do is figure out what is the writing tone? What is the writing style? What are the words that you would use to describe yours that will give you the right out outcomes? So uh, you probably will want to go with something like formal and professional. They're quite good, but sometimes formal and professional can be a little bit too boring. And if you want to get your personality across on your website, in your emails and so on, there may be some different words that you can use to communicate your personality. So I want to wrap up this particular video with a with the what I believe is the most powerful feature inside ChatGPT, and that is something they brought out in August 2023, which is custom instructions. Because as you can now start to see, hopefully, prompt engineering is really powerful, and things like explaining the writing style, the writing tone. But before August, what you had to do is every time you start a brand new chat you would have to tell ChatGPT, you are a financial accountant, I want you to write in a formal tone, et cetera, et cetera. You'd have to, every single chat you do, you'd have to then start again with telling it the persona and the, 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 the way that you want it to write things. When they brought out custom instructions, that had a huge impact because... If I now go to the three dots at the bottom left and we hit custom instructions, which I've currently turned off, what that allows you to do with custom instructions, and this is so, so powerful. What you can do is you have two boxes to complete. The first, in each box, you have 1500 characters. And the first box says, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? So that's the persona that you want it to play. And so this is how you personalize ChatGPT to you. So you might want to say, profession, I am a financial accountant. In my case, I've got it grayed out here, but it says, profession role, I am a multifaceted entrepreneur specializing in accounting with roles as a writer, marketer, and trainer, because that's what I do. I'm an accountant by training, but I write, I, mar I do marketing, and I teach. And I go on in there to, ex to explain my learning style because that helps ChatGPT give me information in the style that's best suited to me. 
So giving it your persona really helps. And the second box is how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So this is where you can have the, your things like your writing tone, your writing style. Now, what I've done is I've trained ChatGPT in my style of writing, and then I've come up with a form of custom instructions, which then means that I don't have to keep training it. So in here, I've got my response format, responses to be structured in a clear and concise manner using short sentences and paragraphs for easy digestion. And so on, it talks about my tone and so forth. So what happens is with custom instructions, once you've figured out what's the right instructions for you, we then toggle at the bottom. This toggle means we can now enable it for all new chats. So I'm turning that back on again. And I'm now going to start a brand new chat. And let me just hide the sidebar. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repeat that prompt number two that we did, which was this one. Um, you are a financial accountant. Enhance the product description, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, uh, in a and, and I'm going to do the same prompt, but this time my custom instructions is turned on. And let's see what it does. So uh, as I uh, go back to here, it says. Experience swift and accurate tax filing with our 1040 individual income tax return service. Um, at company name, we understand the importance of meeting your legal obligation to file an annual tax return promptly. Our 1040 individual income tax return service is designed to streamline this process for, for you, ensuring compliance with tax regulations while delivering a host of benefits. Expert preparation. Our experienced team of financial accountants will meticulously prepare your tax turn, leaving no stone unturned to maximize your deductions and minimize your tax liability. Now, I love copywriting. I, I've been trained as a copywriter. I love words. Words are so important. And reading that, I can immediately tell that's a style of writing that I like. And I would probably use that as it is because it's it's got that professional element to it written in a, as, a, as an accountant, but it's also I can, it's building in some of my, my writing style. There's also an element of focusing on benefits without being too sensational. Now, you might not like that. That's how I've trained it into my writing style. But that's the key point I want to say um, before we move into the, the next sec section of the train. The key things we've talked about today is we've talked about the importance of prompt engineering, how, the, how we craft those prompts. The words can be really important, the structures. And I gave that little prompt formula. Think about the persona, the writing tone, the writing style. Giving you an exemplar. I'll show you an example of that later. And context. And some of those things we can now build into custom instructions, which means that we can personalize ChatGPT and get even better responses that are just right for us. Hey, I hope that was valuable. Let me know in the comments below below what was the best thing that you got out of it. Make sure as well that you have grabbed a copy of our ebook, ChatGPT for Accountants and Bookkeepers, and check out the description below. Sometimes we put other links to free resources. And uh, please feel free to browse my YouTube channel. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.